filming another back to school video for you guys because you guys seemed to like the first one. And thank you so much. I know I've gotten kind of surged a little bit in subscribers, which I'm so happy about. Um, so yeah, I really like made my entire week. Not kidding. Like seriously, you guys make my day. So um, definitely subscribe. Um, it's up there if you want to see more back to school videos or you like this video that you're going to see in a second. But basically, um, it's a back to school, middle school, everyday natural makeup tutorial. It's a little bit less than I normally wear. Um, but I like it and I do wear it a lot. I find myself wearing it a lot. And it's all drugstore products. Super easy and accessible for, hopefully for you guys to use. I know not everybody has a ton of money to spend on makeup. I don't. <laughs> so basically, this is just um, what I'm just going to tell you guys and I'll get into the tutorial. I can't talk. Okay, bye. So I'm just taking the eyelid primer potion by, not just primer by e.l.f. And applying that to my eyelids and under eye area and blending it out. This will help keep the shadows on all day long. I really like this primer. It's really cheap. It's only a dollar. It works amazingly. And applying that, like I said, under the eye and on my eyelid. Wherever I'm putting shadow. Now when I'm done blending this out, I am taking my Walk-In Eggshells Trio by Wet n Wild. And I'm taking the pink champagne color with the flat shader brush and packing that on my lid. Focusing it on the outer half, but also blispering it everywhere with this flat shader brush. It's a really pretty champagne color. I love this palette. It's perfect for back to school and just everyday neutral eye looks. These colors are comparable to Buck, Sin, and Virgin by Urban Decay. I wouldn't say they're exact dupes, but they're pretty close. Now I'm taking that same flat shader brush and wiping it off and putting that eggshell color on the inner half of my eye. Just for some more light and definition for that inner half. Just kind of brighten it up and putting it also in that chair area. And this is a super natural look. It's not, not by any means dramatic, but I like this for every day. Probably for middle school or any age. Now I'm taking a crease brush and taking that brown color and placing the brown color where I want it, but not blending it out yet. I like this because I don't have a defined crease. This kind of helps give me one. So I'm just doing that for each eye, just placing, not blending. And then in a second here, I'm going to go in with a blending brush, also by e.l.f., and blend the color in circular motions, outward and inward. Just kind of creating um, and blending it all for a seamless look, which is really important with your eye makeup. And try to ignore my hair. I know it's really messy. I'm having a bad hair day. And it's in a side braid, but it, you can't see it right now. So that's why you see all those kind of like random hairs at the back. Just try to ignore that. <laughs> okay, now I'm done blending this out. I am taking another flat shader brush. On the tip, I am taking that white color and bringing that in my tear duct and inner under eye area for some light. And I like that the kind of glowy look it gives, which is really pretty. I almost do this every time I wear eye makeup with my highlight color. And then I'm doing the same thing with that champagne color. Just kind of blending it in and moving it outwards towards the corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take it with this brown color again. And using this as kind of like a less harsh version of eyeliner. Just to kind of give my eyes some definition without being so harsh. Like I said. So I'm doing that here. Like I said, this is super natural. I'm going to be doing different tutorials. I just felt like doing this because I really like this look. I'm also going to be doing different middle school tutorials, though. Now I'm taking an angled eyeliner brush and taking that dark brown color and playing that on my outer or my upper lash line as um, kind of a makeshift eyeliner. So it's not as harsh as liquid liner. Like I said, this is middle school. I'm not going to apply liquid liner, but if you want to, go ahead. Um, no rules. But I like how it looks with the brown as eyeliner. Just putting that on the outer half of my upper lash line. Okay. And then also applying it under my eyes a bit. Now I am taking a blending brush and blending it again. Blending is key for a seamless look. Now I'm taking that same brush and applying it the extra color as a highlight for under my brow bone. And bringing it down in my inner corner for some light into my eyes. Now I'm taking, I showed you two eyeliners. I showed you a black one and a colored one. I'm taking the purple color one by Almay. And I like purple because I have brown eyes and it kind of makes my eyes pop. And I'm tightening my eyes, which I really like. It gives a finished look to the eye without that um, appearance of the eyeliner. It also defines it a ton. I never go without doing this when I'm wearing eye makeup. I love doing this. But you can also use black or brown, whatever eyeliner you prefer. Like I said, I like the purple. And I just plan the tiniest bit on the outer um, waterline just to kind of connect those two lines. 
you can't really see it though. Now I'm taking my all my dial up um, mascara. I love this mascara for lengthening. I would repurchase it, however, um, they don't make it in waterproof, which I really want waterproof for school, so it doesn't smudge. But I love this; it lengthens amazingly. I don't know if you can really see it. The lighting's not the best, but it really does a great job at lengthening my lashes. I would curl my lashes beforehand, but I don't have an eyelash color it just broke which is not so fun but I'm getting a new one soon so applying that mascara to my top and lower lashes and that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful um like I said more tutorials coming soon I'll see you guys in the next video bye